Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I have brought a new custom ROM for Redmi 5 Rosie. Here you can see this is a Redmi 5 Rosie. Here you will get MIUI 12.5 by Xiaomi Dot EU 21.1.13 and official beta. And also new update is also available for MIUI 12.5. Video will be uploaded soon, so don't worry. You will get Android version 10 in this ROM, Android 10Q. Today we will review this ROM, what is the, how is the performance of this ROM and what are the bugs and the specification of this ROM. Here you can see our specification and my UI version and this is the latest build. Here you can see that you will get the Android security patch, January security patch and model MD G1. Need for speed non limit kernel is installed in this ROM. Let's see the features of this ROM. Here you can see Geo is working perfectly. There is no problem in the Geo. As you can see, I am using the Geo and the hotspot of this device. It works perfectly. There is no problem. And the Wi Fi is working perfectly. And the hotspot Wi Fi, there is no restart of hotspot Wi Fi. Network, network coverage is also good. Everything is good. And the Bluetooth is also working fine. There is no problem in Bluetooth. You can easily connect the audio devices. Let's check the wallpaper and the personalization. Here you will get the wall, all the wallpapers in this section as you can see these are the wallpapers it is bit laggy in the starting you will feel bit laggy in the starting but later on it will be okay it takes times to adjust as you can see sometimes this rom lags as you can see let's be back on let's have the always on display here is always on, on display let me change the style it works perfectly there is no problem notification light as you can see it takes some time to load the application so it is not fully stable yet let's check the aod always on display here you can here you can see always on display this is the always on display and you will get the notification icon it works perfectly there is no problem in the always on display and the edge lightning is also working perfectly there is no problem there is no bug in the always on display so you can say that the always on display is very smooth and works perfectly animation do not apply the animation in this rom raise to wake is working perfectly there is no problem double tap sensor to wake let's check the fingerprint sensor to wake the device if no fingerprint is applied tap open here you can see it is working perfectly there is no problem tap fingerprint sensor to wake is working you will get the wallpaper error so it works perfectly lock screen format is also working perfectly Charging animation, here is the charging animation, launch camera, camera is also pre-installed in this ROM. Let's have the password and security. Let's have the speed of the fingerprint and the speed of the face unlock also. As you can see, I am applying the fingerprint sensor, it, it is working perfectly. Successfully applied the fingerprint. Let's check. Tap. Tap. Open. Fingerprint speed is very good, there is no problem in the fingerprint speed. As you can see, if you tap on the fingerprint, it will automatically open the lock screen or open your phone. There is no problem. Let's check the face unlock also. How is the performance of the face unlock in face data in our 12.5 ROM for ROSI? As here you can see, I have successfully applied the face unlock. Let's check the speed of the face unlock. Here are the few settings unlock using face data, stay on lock screen, let me turn off it. As you can see it is taking lot of time to open the lock screen as you can see. There is lag in the animation only as you can see. Let's check the display also. Here is the display dark mode. Is available schedule dark mode. It is working perfectly and the automatic brightness is also working perfectly. You can adjust the brightness level also and, and this is the reading mode it also works perfectly there is no problem and the intensity is a, bit, is a little bit low color scheme here is the saturated standard you can adjust it according to your use it works perfectly there is no problem so don't worry all the bugs or any if there is any problem in the in this room all the bugs will be, will be written in the description you can check the description also Control center is the control center LTE instead of 4G you can see percentage inside the icon outside is also available as you can see Full screen here is the navigation bar full screen gestures is also available in this room there is no problem Only is that first after applying it you will feel only lag in lag for 2, 3, 5 to 10 seconds after that it will be normal after applying any animation or any feature there will be a little little bit lag 
that's like the sound and performance sound and performance is very good in this rom there is no problem in the sound as you can see vibration is also working perfectly and the vibration on tap you can adjust it according to your use it works perfectly you can change the intensity also and the tap sound is also working perfectly there is no problem in tap sound navigation bar vibration working so don't worry here is the few control centers as you can see you can check it according to a use all the features i have tested is working perfectly and that's all the battery performance here is the battery performance let me show you ultra battery nine eight hours 52 minutes i have used only that is that the only problem is that the app opening speed is very low here is the few home screen settings as you can see you can check it according to your use also or you can use the classic or with, draw, with app drawer by sliding upward global icon animations uh, arrange as you can change it to horizontally vertically according to your use so memory status is also available as you can see only 312 mb is available right now as you can see my account is working perfectly there is no problem in the my account you can easily log in without any problem without any fix as you can see there is no problem and in my account or the special features are changed here are the few applications installed in this rom and to benchmark is not working in this rom so it, i will not able to test the and to do benchmark score will be not be uploaded so don't so i am sorry and the quick review will also be available as you can see there is a 532 mb storage free we will also compare all the mi ui 12 available for redmi 5 rosy by side by side comparison so don't hurry you can subscribe our channel for daily updates let's check the safety net performance as you can see run safety net here you can see safety net is not passed in this room it is failed so uh, we will also check whether the play store is certified or not and there is no bug in the round, rounded corners it works perfectly as you can see our device is not certified there will be problem in the device certification as you can see it is almost uh, two minutes i have uh, opened the call of duty as you can see it is going back to the home page it is not working it is it it is just getting stuck in the home screen or uh, if i want to skip my whatever the animation cam cam in the call of duty so if i want to skip i click on skip then it comes back to the home screen but i will test the call of duty after testing for almost 5 to 10 minutes call of duty is not working in in this rom it again come back to home screen after playing you will not get the smooth experience in this rom for big for bigger games you should not install this rom in your redmi 5 rosy for a better performance of the gaming you should install the custom rom rom not miui 12.5 it is not better in the per it will not get give better performance in the gaming so i don't recommend this rom and here you can see our internet is also disconnected as you can see our sim sim is disconnected by i don't know but it is the first time while playing the game while launching the game sorry if you like the video press the like button and subscribe my channel for daily updates